overall, I feel like you you you've seen a substantial change for the better in most aspects of, of the city. What we're getting is uh, good communication, good planning. Uh, neighborhoods can find out what's going on. Sadly, my biggest impression of him is undercover bosses. I'm particularly upset that he's advertising the term jag off as being something from Pittsburgh. The people that he's supported to new boards like the zoning board and the planning commission represent a real paradigm shift for the city of Pittsburgh. I just like the way he is available to the people. We were having a Facebook chat about the, the, the police chief and he actually chimed in. It's been a while, I think, since we've seen a city administration that has kind of a problem-solving uh, approach. I know he wants to address um, community issues like uh, overcrowding in student housing. I'm glad the start has been made on rental registration. Um, I think that's something that's very important to be able to get a handle on who the landlords are, particularly who the absentee landlords are. How he has moved the investigation part out of the police building and away from it. I think that that's positive, very positive for the community. I am an organizer who spent a lot of time on police violence. By removing BBI from you know, public safety, putting it under the mayor's administration, I think there's an opportunity for the mayor to be, uh, you know, much more, uh, you know, uh, uh, to hold that department much more accountable. I'm a contractor, so making it short, shorter and easier to get building permits and it not being such a strenuous pro process is able to have me generate more cash flow and income. I worked with a group of other volunteers on the recovery of the August Wilson Center and to have the mayor's support and the county executive support through that was really important. Pittsburgh has a sustainability manager. That's, that's new. How many cities in America can you say that they have a sustainability manager? I think the city still has you know, a big problem for how to you know, properly, how, how to get the right support financially from its many nonprofit organizations, especially the really big ones. I will say that I would like to see more bike lanes in minority communities, even though I understand from the mayor's perspective there's probably a lot of pushback from minority communities because they feel as though it would actually bring uh, gentrification. But my pushback to the pushback is that <laughs> from a health standpoint, what minority communities tend to be the communities with a lot of adverse health effects. The FOP contract expired on December 31st of this year. It's the most important document that structures the police department. Uh, and that is a key document that we're going to need to revisit while we talk about restructuring the police department. Whatever Bill Peduto's uh, priorities are for that contract, we need to hear that now. I hope that he focuses more um, the, next, the next year than on like biking, making Pittsburgh look hip, attractive, and cool, and actually focusing on people inside Pittsburgh. He is putting a big emphasis on increasing the bike infrastructure, but I don't think that he is requiring bicyclists to be responsible. I want to hear more about the environment, considering that this is Pittsburgh. Um, and besides biking. I think education needs to be a stronger um, goal for him in his next year. Classes are still, you know, enormous, like 25 to 30 kids in a class. We should talk about consolidating police departments with the surrounding region, you know, of all the things that we can consolidate. And he was big talking about consolidation. Police departments should be number one. We can't jettison the vulnerable people in this community and just replace them with new people from different parts of the country or the world. You have to ensure the people that are here are taken care of. And I don't mean that from giving people a handout, but giving them a hand up. There was a lot of enthusiasm around electing Mayor Perduto, and, it, and it's nice to see that in the first year, he's lived up to much of what he's promised for um, you know, opening up Pittsburgh and new ideas for the city. And so I would say the challenge now is to just keep that momentum going.